Evening lovely people. This is part of um, Tom Richmond's Corona Couture Challenge um, and I'm gonna take a little time here, just a few minutes to uh, draw one of the subjects I really like, um, Ian McShane. Great face, um, we can do a really easy breakdown of him. I've already done a very quick prelim sketch just there for uh, all to see. Basically the guy has got a square face, end of. So here we go. I'm doing a quick pencil sketch because I'm one of those horrible pre-sketcher type people. It helps me with the overall design of the picture, okay? Little bit of a weenie neck there, nothing much because his head's much bigger than his neck. Um, yeah, eyes wise, he's got flat eyebrows, straight eyebrow line, but they're much wider to the outside, so they go like that, and they go like that. See, that's it, wider than his eyes. Um, his eyes are so way close together that you may as well just draw one, as I like to do from time to time. So here we go, nice heavy eyelid. There you go, bish bosh bash, bit of eye in the middle. He's got some saggy baggy sag bags underneath. He's got quite a strong nose, so we can do an indication of that, but the rest of it is all about the mouth. Um, yeah, probably he's quite a miserable kind of guy. So we're gonna give him one of those kind of mouths. Bit of bottom lip detail there, not too much. He's got a very well-worn face, lots of creasy creases. Bit of a round hairdo on top there. He's obviously got a point underneath his hairline there, somewhere in the middle, I would say, round about there. So this is, I don't even know if you can see this, sorry. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch straight to Edding 500s, the favorite pen of mine. It's a little chisel tip. Um, just gonna draw his eyeliner. There we go, a little bit of calligraphy onto that side and a bit more calligraphy from that side there. That's the center point. Just gonna sort of work out from there. Uh, let's do the middle of his eye, otherwise known as a pupil. So I'm very technical. There you go, a couple of little shines in there because frankly, if you don't put the shine in, it's kind of two dimensional. So that's just for three dimensions, yeah. And then there's my perfect circle, not for, uh, yeah, for the iris. Now I'm just going to do a nice big bold one I think across there, we're going to use a nice edding, what is this, 8500, yeah. Right from there, the corner mark there that I've made right across there, and that one's running out which ain't much good. But it can have its advantages. Yeah, we like that, that's turned okay. Yeah. Right, so that's his eyebrow. Um, Oh dear, forget about that one. Uh, now you've got his little under eyelid, quite saggy. You've got huge bags right there. You've got that reasonably defined nose somewhere there, which also lines directly up with the crease lines above. It's quite a creasy, mean kind of guy. I'm just gonna fill in these eyebrows a little bit here with uh, a bit darker, just to bring them out. Now, yeah, the mouth is quite a major part here because it's got a really wide mouth and he's got nice little crease lines coming down here. Uh, what I've realized on this, just doing it, is I probably haven't given him a big enough face. There you go, that's the hazards of uh, rushing things. Little crease in the middle of the lips, there you go. Uh, yeah, we could even maybe give him a chin, who knows? I'm gonna stick with the square at the minute just to outline what I'm talking about with the square head. Okay, up the other side, down there, and if we want we can stick a little chin on there just for good measure. It's a bit of a cop out really, I shouldn't have done that, but hey. Um, yeah, cross line there, he's got a major crease going across off his nose, one of the things that defines him. Um, yeah, the rest of it is brow lines, um, bit of, I'm going to be drawing in from uh, pictures with, of him with longer hair, so we're going to have some curl lines going on there and bring out the full roundness in his hair. No ears to mention, I can't see his ears, his face is way too wide to have ears in it. Um, yeah, and the rest of it is up to you, however you want to add that, but uh, 
something like that. I'm not going to bother with the rest of this. I'll do that later at another day. Uh, but I mean, you know, you've got the flowing line there. It goes straight across there. I could ruin the whole picture. Let's get a bit more black pen. 8500 is just going to give him quick hair. Don't know what I'm doing this for because this is actually just a prelim drawing for some studio work, which I'm going to be doing shortly afterwards into the wee small hours of Sunday night, such as it is. Now that is how you get a dry brush effect. You just wear the pen out <laughs> and leave the lid off as well. That helps. Now I'm going to do a couple of more defining things on him here. Oh, there we go. Dropping pens. A couple of more defining marks on him here. One there is the fact that he's got majorly dark circles under his eyes. We're going to use some major dark up here. Major dark under here somewhere. Maybe a little bit in the eyes itself. This here is a little lighter grey, blends it in a little bit, he says, hopefully. Yeah. These are Copic wides, huge wide things. You can do great big fat lines like this. Or you can do little tiny thin skinny lines like that. Pretty good. But unfortunately, Copic in their wisdom have seemed to stop making them. So if you get these, they're like rocking horse poop. All right, I'm just going to fill in a bit there. Indication of the eye again. All this is just indication. This is nothing that I would sell to someone. Well, actually, I might sell it to them on the street. But these are all just prelims. That's pretty much the way I see most of my live work. Just prelims for a drawing I'd love to do at home. Um, yeah, there you go. That's basically Ian McShane to a degree. Not particularly detailed, but this is going to be now transformed into vectors on the computer. I'm going to scan it in, get it over to my PC, click around it with a mouse like that, and pretend it's a puzzle and put it all together for you. And hopefully you'll see that up on uh, Tom's challenge page. And thanks for viewing. I hope this comes out okay. Cheers. Stay well.